You may remember last week when we told you about a new interactive match which can show your life interactive map which can show your life expectancy based on where you live. That turns out the study is going to help with a mission of Mesa County Public Health. KREX 5 News reporter Colette Bordelon joins us now live from Rocky Mountain Elementary School in Clifton. Colette, what do young students have to do with life expectancy? Well, Brandon, it actually turns out that your formative years can play a huge part in how long you end up living. Now, Mesa County Public Health is starting this program. They've had it going for a little less than a year, and it's aimed at connecting the citizens of Clifton. And one of the most pivotal places they're focusing on is right behind me. Jeff Kaur and Mesa County Public Health are going inside of Rocky Mountain Elementary School hoping for healthy students. Ooh, what letter is this? D. D. Good. School is the hub of the neighborhood, so that's why being with the school is so important. It's part of the Clifton Community Transformation Project, which was started within this year. One of the most exciting things that I've been involved in in my 10 years at Rocky Mountain Elementary School. They want to connect. Suicide, uh, child abuse, homelessness, all these issues in Grand Junction that we all get called to respond to, they all have a similar root cause. And so we've, we've come down to it being a sense of community. A recent map by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment shows life expectancy by neighborhood. And Clifton was one of the lowest areas in Mesa County. Orchard Mesa had a pocket as well. And then right around Grand Junk or downtown Grand Junction, I feel like we pick on Clifton quite a bit. And to know that, uh, that we've got some issues kind of dispersed throughout Mesa County is, uh, you know, it's not good, but it's interesting to, to see that data. Their transformation project is happy to have that information. We'll use this study to monitor our progress with where we're going. Which is straight to the source. To truly impact life expectancy, you have to start very young. If students are able to critically think and problem solve, through education, they are able, better able to navigate society and um, make positive, healthy choices. Verdon says they get feedback from both students and community members, which they then use. That education brings that special quality of making sure that kids are empowered to make choices and are engaged in the community. And I think with empowerment comes healthy choices and a life expectancy that should be longer. One neighborhood at a time. We're building the resources to be able to respond so that our residents trust us, all of our agencies working together. Okay, what's this word? Love. Love. We are a community that has some real needs and some real struggles, but when parents are feeling like we're connected and students are feeling like we have more opportunities and that we are wrapped around by this great community, it feels like those challenges can be overcome. One student okay, cool. at a time. I'm actually here with Joy Hudak right now. Now, you're the executive director of the Riverside Educational Center, one of the several partners in this Clifton Connectedness Project. Students do a lot of their learning outside of the classroom. Why are after-school programs so important? I would love to talk to you about that. So we actually did a focus group when this was all happening, and one of the things parents said was we want um, kids engaged in the after school hours and we happen to be doing that in another part of our community and so we were able to bring our programming to Rocky Mountain Elementary. After school hours are the high risk um, hours where kids are a lot of times left at home by themselves and this gives kids an opportunity to be engaged with caring adults and gives them the extra time to master academic skills. And you guys should have gotten a look at all of those schools. They do it out at seven different ones throughout the Grand Valley. It's actually going on right behind us right now inside of Rocky Mountain Elementary School. Now, Joy, how do people sign up? Right, they can check our website, www.rec4kids.com, and all the information's on there, and including our number, number. So just Google Riverside Educational Center and you'll find us. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, me tonight, Joy. And thank you guys for sticking along throughout this story. We'll, of course, have updates on this project as it does come to fruition. First on the Western Slope, Colette Bordelon, KREX 5 News.